hello everyone so in this video we are going to discuss about encoder application so in my previous videos i have discussed about what is mean by encoder design for 4 is to 2 okay so other encoders i have discussed and i have discussed also about what is mean by priority encoder and what is the necessary for priority encoder so all uh, those topics we have discussed earlier earlier so now the question arises uh, where I can use my encoder knowledge okay so without using our knowledge or applying something in real life there is no use for learning anything okay so that's the basic rule of nature if you are learning something then you should apply it somewhere to get some things done for you okay so we hear or read somewhere that uh, in our textbooks we will be normally reading that uh, encoder is used in communication where uh, instead of multiplexers and demultiplexers if you want to uh, make the data secure so there we will be using the encoder because it converts the decimal values into binary coded decimals and uh, okay so let me take an example so if 2 is fed to an encoder so the output will be so 1 and 0 is the output so this is binary values corresponding to the output okay so what i will do uh, so i have a data of uh, 462 uh, let me say so 10 is for 2 uh, then for 6 i can write so 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 so 1 1 all right so 0 is the corresponding code for 6 and for 4 i can write the code 2 to the power 2 that is 2 and 0 0 so these are the codes which I have so what I will do I will just uh, so this is let me say a communication channel so I will put my code here 1 0 first then 0 1 1 then 0 0 1 ok so this is my data stream which I basically sending 462 so this is the transmitter side and this is the receiver side all right so i will send this through the transmission channel and if someone is stealing my data in between so this is someone is stealer here okay so this is someone who tries to hack my data or steal my data okay so what i will do i will make the packets of three here uh, let me say four here okay so uh, i will make the packets here so because in data communication we have studied the data will be transmitted in the form of packets that is bits are combined to form the packets and they are transmitted not a single individual bit is transmitted at a time some bits are transmitted all right so now uh, when this fellow receives this data it is in the form of 44 four bits okay so it is 1010 and another bit is 1001 so what he will think this is 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 okay this is 8 and this is 2 8 plus 2 this is 10 so he will decode it as 10 and this is 8 plus 1 9 okay so 9 so he will decode the da transmitted data is 10 and 9 okay so but the actual transmitted data is 4 6 and 2 because he don't know we are transmitting only 2 bits at a time that is we have encoded 2 bits first and then 6 bits and then 4 bits and what type of encoder we have used and how many bits we have added so 10 how can I how I can write 0 0 1 0 if I write like this also it is no problem it is 2 itself I have added 2 redundant bits here so like this we can uh, protect our data stealing from someone else because we will be knowing the coding sequence and okay so how I can decode my sequence correctly at the output side so this pattern I will be knowing okay so what I will be knowing I have taken for first decimal digit I have used 2 bits okay so I have 2 bits then for 6 I have decoded it as 3 bits and for 4 I have decoded it as again 3 bits okay so when the data finally transmitting through the channel it will receive at the receiver end then I know that first my digit is having 2 bits then it will take only 2 bits and convert it to decimal the second number is having 3 bits 
then it will take three bits and convert it to decimal and again the third bit is having only three bits all right so it will convert then it will be two then six then four so here i got my data again four six two okay because i know the bits which i uh, number of bits i used to encode the decimal data at the transmitter side i can easily decode the output at the uh, receiver side so this uh, pattern will be sent to the receiving side so it will be known pattern which uses which will be used by the receiver to decode the message so don't uh, the stealer which is trying to use my data he don't know how i have encoded that's why he is not able to decode my data correctly so this is how we can implement a security question in case of our digital communication with the help of encoder it is just an two bit encoder i have explained so it is it can be expanded up to 32 bits or 64 bits depending on the necessary of security how much at what level of security i want i can increase the complexity of this coding scheme so that no one can decode so it is a uh, there are probabilities that you can group these two these three these three so he can find out uh, some 10 20 combinations and out of which one will be correct for him so this can be easily done but the real life data will be huge and the numbers or bits which will be encoding will be 64 bits for a one single decimal digit so the for one single digit if you are encoding in terms of 64 bits there are million trillions of combinations which will be occurring for the binary digits and that is uh, until today practically impossible for someone to crack that code and uh, do that huge comp uh, computation and encode the digital data or decimal data correctly so uh, in military applications we will be doing like this okay so he, there we will be adding pn sequence that means redundant bits will be adding and that same redundant bit will be using at the output side so like this with the help of encoder you can add uh, up to some extent the security features all right so this uh, explanation what i have said is for data communication so today actually i wanted to explain something new okay so this is an example or application of uh, encoder application itself but i want to explain this one so what is this so it is a navigation system okay so we know that ships use navigation system to determine in which direction they are moving and at what distance they are from their base and uh, Okay, so the navigation is just used to find the uh, angle, the direction. All right, so that thing we know. So this is the navigation, how it looks like. We will be having north on the upper hand, south in the lower hand, east, west, and this is northeast, this is southeast, this is northwest, this is southwest. So I will be taking northwest and southeast, like this and like this. Okay, so like this, we will be having all these. Uh, <clears throat> assumptions that the the um, compass which is having the needle so a needle is there for a compass and it here the main role is 8 is to 3 encoder is connected and it has got 8 inputs d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 so the first north is connected to the d0 bit north is to, uh, connected to the d1 bit d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 so note that it is not a priority encoder it's just a common normal encoder because the ship can go in only one direction at a time so it's only one of its input will be high at a time so if it is uh, pointing towards east then the all others will be zero because it can't point simultaneously to east and west okay so that's a obvious question why you're using 8 is to 3 encoder instead of priority encoder if the <coughs> inputs will be high one or more inputs will be high at a time then we could have used priority encoder instead of 8 is to 3 encoder okay so that's why we are using a normal encoder here so so suppose the ship is pointing toward northeast direction so in this example then this bit will be high so it is written in the code that if the needle comes to the northeast direction then make the d1 bit as 1 so it is something which is implemented in software okay so the hardware used is encoder but it has got a heart as a software itself okay so this bit is high now all other bits are zero so d1 bit is high the output will be corresponding to the three digits so that is one zero zero 
okay so q0 q1 1 0 0 is the output so it is nothing but 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 so 1 in decimal so uh, uh, but i what i will be doing is when uh, the output q0 q1 and q2 all these are 0 0 0 i will assume the direction as north so this is written in program so if the q1 to q1 q0 bits are 0 0 0 i will assume the direction as north if this is uh, 0 0 1 then i will assume it as northeast and if it is 0 1 0 then i will assume it as east for similarly if they are 1 1 1 then i will assume it as north west okay so all combinations are covered here so in this case 1 0 is 0 is there so 1 0 0 so in this direction i am taking that's why i have written actually we should read in this direction 0 0 1 so 0 0 1 is there the direction is corresponding to this is north okay uh, yeah north east uh, for this north is the for this east and for this northwest so like this we will be feeding it in the software and depending on this it will be given to the program so it will uh, sees that the in output of the deco encoder is 0 0 1 so the direction of the cpu is towards the north east so if the output is all zeros that is this bit is high then the corresponding binary code for the zero is all zeros so the uh, output the direction which is shown for the sailors is uh, towards the north because we have set in the program so you can change this one uh, however depending on your uh, convenience we can assign so for triple one i can assign the north west so at that time i need to change the bits here so this is how we can use an encoder for navigation application so this is just an basic level of application which i am explaining so more modern and uh, more sophisticated techniques are also implemented in nowadays okay so if you know basic th things then only you can uh, know the higher things okay so that's why i i personally feel that knowing the basic things is a basic or important important question okay so i hope you found this useful uh, so if you have liked the video please guys hit the like button and if you have not subscribed to the channel please guys do subscribe and how you thought about this video uh, if you have any suggestion or query please comment me in comment okay all right so see you in the next video thank you thanks for watching